was that was it he was cheating on her for so long so Catherine called her mother and told her everything that has happened and the mother advised her that I think you should leave this man he is not the right man for you but Catherine insisted that I still love my husband even if I have found out that he has been cheating on me but we are going to talk about it and we'll continue with our marriage we are so Catherine really confronted the husband and the husband admitted and said I am sorry it won't happen again and she had to forgive him because she really loved him a lot she loved 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 her husband and after that incident guys you know the bad thing with cheating if someone cheats on you then it really destroys the relationship yes you can forgive this person but it doesn't mean you're going to forget it and it really brings a lot of it starts to give a woman a lot of insecurities if the man goes out then you start imagining maybe he's cheating on me again such kind of things comes into the mind so that was what was happening to Catherine after she had forgiven the husband so uh, the relationship continued like that but there is a little of unhappiness in their marriage after that incident but guys yes Catherine forgave her husband but it doesn't mean that Daniele stopped his behavior he continued cheating on her many times he did not care and Daniele also was that kind of a man who is very selfish he cared a lot about himself yes he had a family but you cannot imagine guys he had never never pronounced the name my wife or my kids to the colleagues yes they knew he had a family they knew he had a wife and kids but he has never like talked about his family that is how selfish this man was to him he was still single he was still a bachelor so this guy was still behaving like a bachelor and came a new lady at work a very beautiful lady very beautiful <laughs> and Daniele fell in love with this new girl and his mind told him to approach this woman and tell her about how he feels about this woman so they arranged for lunch they went on a lunch date with this girl and Daniele told her that he feels something for her <laughs> and he wants them to start dating but this girl knew everything about Daniele his behavior and knew that Daniele was married so she told Daniele that Daniele I know everything about you I know you've been cheating on your wife I know you have kids so please take care of your family why are you cheating on your wife take care of your family take care of your wife love your wife stop cheating stop cheating i'm not going to date you but if you were single i could have considered you but you are not single so i cannot have a relationship with you get it in your mind that i cannot date you 
so daniele was really really angry <laughs> of the answer that this girl gave to him so daniele in his mind he did not want to give up on this girl because he had really fallen in love with this girl and he did not want to lose her so in his mind he started planning for something very very bad so one day guys and this day is going to make some of you cry about this day daniele returned very early at home and catherine was really surprised that daniele has returned early but daniele told her that i've returned early because today there is a football match italy was playing with another country it was a world cup football match so daniele was going to go out at night to watch that football match with his friends so catherine was okay about it because he knew her husband really liked football and guys it was a very important match so that evening passed so well and catherine prepared dinner when the time for dinner arrived they ate and after eating Catherine had to take care of the kids and put them to bed so after the kids had gone to bed so they decided to have that couple moments <laughs> together as the kids were sleeping before Daniele goes out so they watched a movie and they cuddled on the couch you know <laughs> that moment and eventually guys <laughs> they decided to make love so they made love on the couch <laughs> and it is normal it is just normal for a married couple so after that so after they had made love Catherine asked for water she wanted water to drink because she was feeling thirsty and daniele said okay so daniele stood up and went to the kitchen so their kitchen was in the living room but the couch were facing this way and the kitchen was the other way like the other side but in the same room this way is the kitchen and the couch the 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 couches are facing this side where there is the television and all that so daniele stood and went to take water and when he arrived in the kitchen he opened the fridge and took water but he took the knife with him so daniele came very slowly towards where catherine was sitting and at the back he started stabbing Catherine and when Catherine turned he saw the husband stabbing her but he could not stop he continued he continued he continued he continued many times guys 58 times he even destroyed this woman's face and sometimes guys I sit down and try to imagine how this woman was in a shock seeing the husband that they had just finished making love stabbing her to an extent of making this woman lose her life this was very terrifying this was so cruel and it gives the mother the right of when she said that she saw coldness in the eyes of Daniele the first time she saw him so guys after he had finished with Catherine he went upstairs and took the pillows and made sure that he took the lives of the two kids guys can you imagine such a person can you imagine guys <sighs> It's so sad it's really really sad so he finished everything that and he changed his clothes that he was wearing and 
went out to see that match. So he arrived at the place where the match was showing and he was very normal. And even when Italy won, this guy was there cheering, you know, like cheering like a normal person, so happy. Oh my God, full of energy, full of happiness. After that, Daniele went to club. He went clubbing. <laughs> so happy guys, because what this guy wished for, he had achieved it. This guy never wanted to get married. This guy never wanted kids. So getting his kids out of his life and this wife out of his life, it was something very good for him. It was something that made him so happy. And even when the friends who were with him at the match, when they were interviewed, they said that Daniele was in a very happy mood that night. Daniele returned home at four in the morning after clubbing and what he did, he created a scene that thieves entered in the house and took the lives of his wife and the kids. So after the scene was ready, he started shouting for help, 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 help. Then people started coming. And so the police came and they found something very, very terrifying. They found her in underwears because you remember guys, they had love before this man took her life. So she only had underwear and a very light top up, that's all. It was a very, very bad and very terrifying situation. And when the police arrived, the parents of Catherine had arrived too. Guys, the mother cried, the father cried. And as this mother was talking, I saw pain. I saw a lot of pain in this woman's eyes because I can imagine losing a daughter. And also the father said that there is no any grandparent that could see those little angels without life at that small age and on the other side look at the daughter it was a very very tough moment so the police examined the body and they confirmed that none of them was still living they called the ambulance and they took the body but i wish you guys could see daniele's face this guy was crying this guy was shouting this guy was talking like he's really, really touched. He's really sad and everyone believed him. But after that, you know, when such kind of a situation happens, uh, there must be investigation to know what really happened. So the police invited Daniele to the police station so that they can interrogate him because he was the first person to see all that scene that had happened and Daniele went they started inter so they started interrogating him and he started mixing up stories which made the police to suspect him and when they suspected him immediately they decided to inspect him so they started with the clothes he was wearing and when he removed his trouser they saw the boxer had a lot of blood marks. So he said that the boxer had blood marks because when he arrived, he found her wife in that situation. So um, as he was trying to check, that is when the boxer got those blood marks. But that wasn't the truth. Eventually, the police started digging deep so the investigation was done 
and they started connecting the dots point A, point B, everything to see what really happened and have some instruments whereby these scientific instruments can see everything that happened uh, at that moment, the time when it happened and that is when and that is when they started suspecting Daniele. Daniele said it was the thieves who came into the house, who broke into the house and did what they did, but the investigation did not say that. And Daniele was taken into jail and he was given a life sentence penalty. So what do we learn from this story? We learn from this story to never force marriage. Never be selfish to an extent of making your loved ones feel a lot of pain, like the mother, like the father. That scar will never be healed. So do not force to get married. And if a man tells you that let us call off the wedding, do not listen to what he has to tell you after. That let's get back, let's do this, let's get married. Or do not try to convince this man to marry you. There is no need to convince anyone to marry you. He should be convinced by himself, not the other person, not even you, to convince him to marry you. He should be sure that you are the right woman that he really wants in his life and marrying you is the best thing that could have ever happened to him and also the right thing. But you convincing him, you begging him to marry you, this will not help you. As you can see, as you can see, Daniele told Catherine that I do not want to marry you. Let us call off the wedding. But Catherine begged him. Catherine tried to convince him so that they can get married. They got married. But where did this all end? Where is Catherine? She's no more. We cannot blame her, but we have got a lot of things to learn from her story. Also, if you get pregnant, yes, things can happen. You get pregnant. I know being a single mother is really hard. It is tough. It's not easy at all. But staying with a man that is not ready to be a father, it is as same as being a single mother because Catherine raised those two kids by herself. This man never helped. This man never even played with the kids, like I, like I said when I was telling this story. So she was a single mother, but pretending to be in a relationship, pretending to raise the kids with his husband, but that was not the real situation. The real situation, she was single, she was a single parent. So let us learn from this. If you get pregnant, if a man isn't ready, then be it be strong you can do it it is going to be hard yes i know but you can do it it's better you be a single mother and afterwards you're going to fix your life you'll find the man who will even take that baby as his son or his or as his daughter and also love you as you are love you truly but let us not force things let us not try to convince people to love us. No, love should happen naturally and it should be something that someone wants, but not something that someone is advising or forcing to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it is long, but I also hope you have learned something and you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think is going to enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. Don't forget to comment. Subscribe also. Don't forget to do that. I want us to grow this family. Let us meet in my next video. I love you so much. You're always here in my heart.